I am the master of all I see. Who will challenge the bully and me? Who? <laughs> will you? <laughs> Who? You, puny weakling. Do you challenge the might, the power, and the precision of the Hercules bully? Dude, how many times I gotta tell you? I gotta get back to work. Maybe you should too. <laughs> work? Work is for pansies. Here is one worthy of us. You down there! You! Do you challenge the might, the power, and the precision of the Hercules bully? That's your final warning, Travis! Warning. <laughs> oh, shoot. 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 I need to shoot this. We will test it. We will show it. The world what it can do! Today we are looking at a really exciting new gun from Hudson. This is the Hudson Hercules Bully. It's the little brother to the Hudson Hercules, which was a 13 pound gun. They've shaved off a few pounds, they've shrunk it down. Instead of two tanks, you have one carbon fiber 500cc tank on the front, and it's a really really cool gun. It comes in virtually any caliber you could want. 177, 22, 25, 30, 35, and 45. It, it, one gun spanning that range, it's really incredible. Now the foot poundage in all these uh, calibers is also remarkable. In 177, you've got 50 foot pounds. In, in 22, you've got 60 and 25, uh, 75, and up it goes all the way up to a 45 caliber with almost 300 foot pounds of energy. So 300 foot-pounds out of a 45 caliber bullpup is pretty impressive. Now the overall length of the guns, uh, 36 inches. The barrel is 23 inches and the gun weighs 10.3 uh, pounds. When my co-worker uh, picked it up, he said, oh boy, this is heavy. When I picked it up, I said, oh, this is lighter than I thought. So weight is in the hand of the behefter, but the thing is, the gun is a bullpup, so the weight's back. It's really easy to shoulder, you know, it's, it, I mean, it, if you were carrying this all day in the field, you'd definitely want a sling, but, uh, but it's manageable, and you're getting a lot. Now, over at Hudson, they're not cheapskates. They believe in giving you plenty of power, uh, plenty of shots, and let's start at the front here. The shroud's their quiet energy shroud, knocks the report down quite a bit, but this gun has a lot of bite and a lot of bark still. It's not going to be backyard friendly for most of your backyards. Uh, here we have the 500cc uh, carbon fiber tank, we have a weaver rail molded in at the bottom, and we have an extremely long dual weaver and 11 millimeter uh, rail on top here. So this gives you enough real estate that you can mount virtually anything you want. Now the gun comes with peep sights, which I'm really excited about. I loved, I was just thrilled when I saw this because I love peep sights. Now these just mount, uh, you know, you can mount them anywhere to get the, the right uh, sight picture. And, and they work great. They're a little coarse. I, I wish this fiber optic in the front were a third of the size. And uh, this is really a go string, so it's, it's, it's got quite a large aperture. Um, moving back here, we have a really nice European style and attractive side lever cocking mechanism. It's pretty stout. Uh, you know, it won't give you problems, but it is a, it is a heavy lever. Um, and the reason for that is it's got to push back a really heavy spring. You're getting a lot of power, you've got to have, have a heavy hammer spring. Uh, you can decock it just by pulling the trigger and letting it forward. Now notice right here, this is the fill port. When I pull back the lever, uh, it removes a dust cover and I can insert the probe. This is the, the probe it comes from comes with. One of the few things that I don't like about the gun is the fill probe. I wish we had a, a foster fitting. Now it doesn't, if you've got multiple PCPs, you'll want to buy one of our um, Air Venturi BSP, BSPP uh, to foster fitting adapters. You just put that on, wrench it down tight, and now you can switch this out on your, on your hose really easily. While we're here, in the box you also get a selection of O-rings. These are for the probe, and this is for the gun. 
again, they're just giving you everything you need. It's, it's very nice. The Bully has a two-stage adjustable trigger, and you'll be thrilled to know a manual safety. You can just flip it on and off. So Hatsan's listening to its customers. You also have an adjustable cheek riser here. Just pushing that button, pull it up, locks in place, pushing the button, and drop it down again. The Bully comes with a high capacity magazine. In 30 caliber, you get 10 rounds. In 22 caliber, for example, you get 14. To remove it, just cock the gun, push the retaining pin forward, and pull the magazine out. Once you've shot the 10 rounds, you can just pull out another one and load it in. And Hudson gives you three magazines. You can store two of them down here. It's a really attractive, uh, you know, at least it's not like the the udders hanging off of the Gladius. It's a really good looking and really nice. They fit in there nice and tight. You can load them up and just switch them out instantly. I started testing the Bully in 30 caliber and I was so impressed with it and I was so curious about what the 22 caliber would do with all that power that I pulled one out also. Now, that is a JSBRS 13.43 grain 22 caliber pellet. Here's the JSB Monster, which is a 25.4 grain pellet, a huge pellet in 22 caliber. And here is the JSB Beast. It's a 33.956 grain pellet. Now, on our website, we, we warn you that these will not fit in PCP magazines, and that's the case generally, but they do fit just perfectly in the uh, 22 caliber Bully magazine. And so I was really excited to see what they would do. I was really curious to see what the ballistic coefficient of a pellet like that would be. So I ran it through at 900 feet per second. It's got a BC of about 0.037, which is really good. But once you drop the velocity down to about 800 feet per second, it's got a ballistic coefficient of 0.051, which is just a astonishing for a pellet. And uh, so I was really excited to see the accuracy and, and test that one out, which I did. Now the bullies come with a ton of power. Uh, it may be too much power for you, but that's not a problem at all. You can tune them down easily. You can adjust the power by taking the gun out of the stock, and then you can access this port back here. With just a screwdriver, you can increase the hammer tension or decrease it. They come power tuned, so they're shooting fast, and then it just drops like that. But you can, you can lower, lower that and get a nice, you know, nice flat curve like that. When I got the Bully in 30 caliber out of the box, I tried the trigger, it was 8 pounds and I just was dreading this. I thought, oh man, what am I going to do with an 8 pound trigger? But it adjusted down really easily uh, and I'll show you where it is now. The 22 caliber, I left stock, it came out of the box about six and a half, seven pounds trigger. I left it stocked for all the testing and then I just pulled out of the stock, adjusted it, thought I could get it back, and now it's, uh, now it's not stock, and I couldn't get it back as hard as it was. So I don't have a stock trigger to show you, but let me show you where it is now, which is really the important part, because it's so easy to get there. And we'll do an essentials video and show you how to do it, how to adjust the trigger. Two pounds, 15.4 ounces. Two pounds, 11.1 ounces. Two pounds, 15.6 ounces. For an average of two pounds and 14 ounces. And the trigger is really crisp. You know, you've got a little bit of, you know, you've got first stage take up and then it comes up just against a, a clear wall and there's no creep. It just breaks crisp and clean. It feels like it's less than the, than the almost three pounds. It's, it's a really good trigger, especially for a bullpup. There's, it's not mushy at all. But that's enough talking about these. Let's take them to the range. We'll run them over the chronograph. We'll check the accuracy and uh, we'll test the sound also. 
I've got the Hatsan Hercules Bullion 30 caliber here. We're going to run some uh, rounds over the chronograph to give you the relative power and velocity. We're going to do two pellets. The first one is the JSB 44.75s. And uh, let's see how they do. And that's 20 shots. Now we've got the Hatsan Hercules Bullion 22 caliber, and it's shooting uh, JSB 33.956 grain pellets. That's the most uh, specific designation I've ever seen. Uh, but we're going to shoot it now. We'll go over to the chronograph, but I have tuned this gun. Uh, and so you'll see a flatter curve when it, uh, when I first got it, it was shooting these really, I mean, extremely heavy 22 caliber pellets at over a thousand feet per second. And now it's tuned down so it's in the 900s, but we'll go ahead and run it over and you can see what it's doing it right now.
Okay, so that's two magazines worth plus another 10 shots, so 38 shots. And uh, I think that's about as many as we're going to get out of here. The Bullion 22 caliber gave us a high reading of 100.5 decibels. In 30 caliber, we got a reading, a high of 107.2 decibels. Now this is in our indoor range, and it's an enclosed space. The readings are going to be higher than they would be in normal situations. I'm here at the 35 yard range. We've got the Hudson Bullion 30 caliber. I've adjusted the hammer spring out quite a bit. I think 13 turns from where it was in the factory. That's taken it down from starting out at 1,000 feet per second with a pretty fast drop uh, to about 850 feet per second, and it's pretty level. Anyhow, we'll do a 10 shot group and see how it does here. And that's 10 shots, and that's a pretty good group. That's what I expect out of one of these guns. Now I've got the Hudson uh, Hercules Bully in 22 caliber, shooting, shooting the 25.39 grain pellets. Uh, these are the JSB monsters. And uh, it's tuned down to where they're shooting about 950 feet per second. So uh, we'll take a look. We'll do a, probably a 14 shot group, because I always forget to stop counting after 10, and see how it does. Okay, that's 14, dropped from uh, you know, about 948 down to 925 on the chrono, and that's a pretty darn good group. I was rattling them off fairly quickly. This got the, a stiff trigger, six to seven pounds on it, I haven't adjusted yet, and uh, I just want to see what I can do with it. I'm pretty pleased with that. Here we are at the 100 yard range. We've got a 30 caliber Hatsan Hercules bully. We're going to shoot a 10 shot group and see how it does. Um, I think it'll do pretty well. We'll take a look though.
that wasn't too bad. I realize I'm running a little bit low on air and I think the velocities were dropping, so we're getting a little bit of a vertical drift downwards, but we'll bring it in and take a look at it. We're at the 100 yard range with the Hatsan Hercules Bully in 22 caliber, shooting the JSB 25.39 grain pellets. Uh, we're going to shoot a, change, a 10 shot group. I've just uh, adjusted the hammer spring a little bit. I don't have a chronograph here, but we're just going to see what happens. So let's send the uh, target down range and take a look. Okay, I was pretty happy with that group. There were some outliers, but we'll bring it in and take a look at it. Let's take a look at these targets. Here's the Bullion 22 caliber shooting the 25 grain monsters. And this is 14 shots at 35 yards. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, it's a third of an inch. I can cover it with a dime. I can cover it with my fingertip. You can imagine what a five shot group is going to look like. It's going to be tiny here. Here's the 22 shooting the same pellets at 100 yards. Now this is a 14 shot group. This is not a 5 shot group. This is not a 3 shot group. This is not a 10 shot group. I mean imagine what a 5 shot group would look if we shot groups and picked them. I mean imagine how small that would be. You know I had a few you know on the outsides I was fighting a 7 pound trigger too. Um, but, but look at that. I mean that's I can cover that almost by a quarter. I mean, that, that just shows you the potential that this gun has. A little bit of tuning, you know, lightening up the trigger, which is easy, as I say. Um, I was really, really happy with that. Now, the 30 caliber, this is the, you know, shooting the 50.15 grains at 35 yards. It's a 10-shot group. It's about three-quarters of an inch. You know, I pulled one over here. Um, yeah, it, it's a pretty good group. Now out at 100 yards, I was really happy with this too. Nine out of the 10 shots went in about an inch and a half. Uh, this, is, this is on me. You know, when I, when I finished the group, I looked at the gauge and it was, you know, it was at 100 bar. So the shots were definitely dropping. You saw the first, you know, two or three just go right, right there. But, but again, super accuracy and you're getting a ton of downrange power with these, with these heavy pellets. So to sum up, Hatsan has made an incredible gun in the Hercules Bully. It doesn't matter what caliber you, you get it in, you're getting a ton of power. Hatsan's always accurate, and we've seen that these guns can be really accurate. If you are in the market for uh, a beast of a gun that's going to put out a lot of shots and a lot of power that's adjustable, you know, adjustable trigger, adjustable cheek piece, adjustable power, ambidextrous, I mean, what more do you want here? I mean, what's not to like about this? I mean, you could complain, okay, it's a little loud, it's a little heavy. You know, if you can live with that, then this is an incredible gun. If you've enjoyed this under pressure review, then like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. We'll hang out there for a few days and try and answer them. And thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll show them. Oh. How do I get out of here?